Life wasn't always simple. We tend to prioritize the most complicated solution over the simpler one. Why? It's because we want to assume that the end goal was achieved through this dramatic journey when rarely that's not the case. It's usually a boring journey and I'm here to talk about this. Keeping it simple has always worked for me. Instead of Notion, I use apps like uh, Notes on the iPhone. Instead of using scheduling softwares, I just use the software itself. For example, with Instagram, there's lots of scheduling softwares. I just use Instagram on its own. Instead of complicated camera setups, I just use a simple one and just film with what I have. I started living my life through this rule of one. You've probably already heard of the rule of 100, 100 reps, but I propose this rule, the rule of one. This rule is simple. One social channel, one product, one link, one device and one run until you get a dollar your first dollar online now the reason why i like this rule is because it keeps it so simple and it lets you focus on the task at hand which is most likely getting your first dollar online so that you can start to believe that you can get your 10 your first 10 dollars your first 100 your first thousand uh, because a lot of this are just limiting beliefs on yourself um, it is possible to get your first dollar online because everyone has done it not everyone, but a lot of people have done it before. And if you don't believe in yourself that you can even get a first dollar online, then it's going to stop you from getting your first hundred, first thousand. And this matters because we're going to go into why we need to be focused on the rule of one, which is the first part would be your first social channel. What social channel you should choose. I put a dollar as the minimum for having this rule is because if you can't even get a dollar in one social channel, how can you get a dollar from the rest? We need to keep it so simple that people will think we're stupid for doing this. Why are we not diversifying? We just need to keep one channel until we get roughly around $10,000 and then we can play around with different channels. Um, that's what I'm currently doing right now and I added one, but if I were to be on this stage, I feel like you, you can scale it past to 100,000. It's just that for me, I wanted to dabble with YouTube and with Instagram because I do enjoy both platforms, genuinely. The one run of this whole video will make more sense in relation to this, um, especially with the figures that we're talking about until you get 10,000 followers. But a lot of this is just uh, based on each individual's case. So just be considerate of that. Going into the next point, one product or one service. Going into our product, our service, we need to only have one product or one service. You do not need multiple products or services. Currently, I offer three products right now. My base creator tool set, my grow with you, and my grow for you. You might actually think that I'm going against my own advice. I have three. But to be honest, if you look at it deeply, the only difference between the three is the access to the main product, which is me. I am the main product in this ecosystem. It's just access to me. Um, for the base trader tool set, it's just all the tools that I currently use in order to grow my social media. And then with the done with you, it's just basically a service or a consultancy call that lets that gets you more access to me. However, everyone kind of starts with the base trader tool set and gets that product. So the difference with with the done with you is that I put more attention and I put more time in into checking out, um, auditing your social media, uh, talking with personal branding and just planning out ways so that you can make revenue doing the rule of one. Uh, the difference with the done for you is that I'm doing most of it for you, uh, doing the filming and these are usually just available to local people or we do a done for you with the editing service that I do. But most of it is mostly one product which is just access to me so whatever your product or service is you just got to plan it out in a way that uh, most of it revolves around one service or product now doing it this way has made it so much more easier for me to just start selling to customers and clients with no uh, confusion on mine this is what i'm selling and this is the difference between this this and this it just gives me a clarity and focus that, oh, this is what I'm selling. And it's so easy to explain to people that uh, what happens is, is that you start to believe more on your service and how you can provide for it. Because if it takes too much to just explain what you do, then uh, then it it lends to a lot of people doubting if what you what you're even selling. So just make it very simple for yourself and for your customers. It, make it so easy that people would feel like it's 
kind of dumb to not buy but there's a difference between making it easy to buy and making it easy to sell and making it easy to sell is not as easy as people think make it easy to buy now another way that you can make life easier for your future potential customers or potential clients is your link uh, your link in the bio your link in the description you have to do the rule of one because it makes it easier for your customers to get to where they want to be or get where you want them to be so essentially one link i prefer to do one link like link trees are okay but i feel i feel as if when you start to do link trees it gives your potential customers too much room to think and rather than just send them to for example a landing page with a vsl or for example to a newsletter uh that uh, thinking time is best spent just sending them over to where it really matters for me i've been also experimenting with just sending them to a discovery call um not anymore a sales page because i feel as if your page is meant to uh, sell them on this service already so they have an idea of what they're getting into and then they just book uh, but again everyone's just trying to experiment and nothing is ever set in stone if you can get one thing out of this chapter right now with the link chapter is that try to make it as simple for your audience um, if you can buy a domain as well so you look more professional uh, you spend about ten dollars a year in some circumstances for your link and it just looks professional and people are more are willing to click on it uh, i'm doing this currently with a client herman um, and his link is pretty straightforward it's his name and it's his brand and it leads to a newsletter sign up for a notion template that then sells them up to either a call or working with his um his app agency yeah you need to give them the least amount of time when you're designing these links there's lots of options there's lots of options for these these links but the path of least resistance is the best one if you sell coaching calls your link should be a meeting with you a calendly link or whatever platform you're using to book your calls uh most likely it's a discovery call or if it's a paid consulting call you have a uh, a paywall behind it if you run a physical store that sells physical products your link should be leading towards your highest profitable product or whatever you're selling at that current point in time if you are for example a affiliate product creator someone who makes his money off of affiliates um, then it should be linked towards your amazon link for the product you're promoting through your content if you're a ugc creator uh, it could be a portfolio towards your um, works, your previous works. To make it very simple for whoever wants to purchase from you, whatever product or service you're selling, and then just design your links in a way that it leads to that. Having one link makes it so simple. That's why the principle of, or the rule of one is amazing, is because with this one link, you have a clear direction, a clear funnel. Uh, just an example so that you can relate. When I was starting out with uh, 50 followers on Instagram, I was selling uh, freelance services for shooting photos and videos. I had a link tree and that link tree led to my previous works, um, what it, my personal brand right now, my personal brand website. And it was a bit messy at the, at the beginning, but at least I had one link there that led to multiple uh, other links. But then it became a link, just a simple link to my portfolio. And that kind of simplified what I was selling. However, that felt too limiting, which is why we transitioned to the personal brand. And it back then it just led to my overall website. But now I just lead them to my newsletter, one funnel, and it sells them on there. Now, the next rule would be the one device. Th there is a lot of nuance to what the one device means. Uh, what, what that means is just genuinely that like, don't let having just maybe just having a phone uh, bring you down in this um, creator business and this online business world uh, you can get a lot of uh, needle moving activities done with just your phone um, of course there's caveats to this that it, obviously it's gonna be better if you have a laptop and if you are watching this on the laptop right now then great you're, you're gonna have an extra advantage but what i'm trying to say is that don't let 
just having your phone your phone is a super power right now you can do a lot of content you can do a lot of posting even with just your phone i would argue that since it's with you all the time it's more advantageous rather than having a laptop that you can't break but again there's nuances to this um and it's just to say that don't limit yourself with the possibilities of running an online business you can get a, a lot done a lot of digital businesses run on people's phones now all this to say is just don't complicate it going into the next rule the one run run is what i would describe as four to six months of just pure intentional work on one social channel following all the principles of the rule of one as always volume begets success two to three times posting is what i promoted during this one run that i did uh, is it sustainable probably not for the majority of you however with this one run it's designed to allow you to do the two to three times posting and then after that just maintain uh, all all your social media accounts that you are doing specifically just that one social media channel um, nor is two to three times posting what you want to be doing for a long enough period of time. You want to get better at quality rather than just quantity. We are playing the long game. I do like going on these four to six month runs, uh, trying to grow one specific channel. Right now, I'm trying to grow the YouTube channel. Um, the reason being is that it reminds me a lot of how I used to go about things with bodybuilding and just fitness in general is trying to go trying to go on a bulk uh, for around four to six maybe eight months at a time and then uh, maintain and then cut off the fat uh, the reason being is that for me as a person i i do enjoy going on these runs even more is because i get to really dial in and focus on one uh, social channel and then um, go to to the next and it just lets me change up a few things time to time for me, it's like going on a bulking phase where you go on a four to six month bulk and try to grow your social media as much as possible. And then you're going to gain a little bit of fat and you're going to try to maintain um, after this period of trying to grow that social media so that you don't fall off, obviously. And then either you go on another bulk and try to grow another social media or you cut off the fluff or you try to grow it through quality. For me, this has been very sustainable and I've been enjoying my social media journey uh, up till now. I'm still enjoying it. And the reason why these runs have been so sustainable for me is because I get to see progress uh, fairly quickly and it lets me break the barriers that I was talking about. Like, oh, um, 10,000 followers is possible. And then it lets me start to believe that, oh, 100K is possible. 1 million is definitely possible. As long as I put the amount of time uh, for growing a channel. Combine all the principles that you've learned on this video and I do believe that it will work for you. If it doesn't, book a call with me and I'm gonna solve it.